Hey guys, welcome back. I am still totally under the weather, but today we are going to be doing some gorgeous kind of vintage-like double stamping. But first, we are going to go in with two coats of Evening Sparkler by Blush Lacquers. This first coat here looks really shoddy, I promise. And yes, this is over the first coat I was focusing on looking at the viewfinder, but anyway, it is stunning. It has scatter hollow in it and that coppery pinky shift is jaw it'll be linked below it's amazing next we are going to be using cat caticula caticula i believe that's how it's pronounced in pear martini because we are prepping to go in with the clear jelly stamper limited edition plate and we will be double layering these two images here with our big bling also from clear jelly stamper and the first color that we will be using is lisa from Esmaltis to Kelly, I believe. I bought mine from Butyrometry, but Butometry, and I'll have that linked below. The key with double stamping is just making sure that you remember which part of the image you applied to your nail, so that when you go back in with that second image, I used gray, by the way, from uh, a gray polish from Painted Polish. I'll have it linked below as well. So that when you go back in with that second color, it lines up perfectly. For our ring and pinky finger, we will be going back into that same plate and using the same colors. We're just going to be picking up individual flowers this time. I placed the full flower up at my cuticle line and then I placed the little, the little tiny one down at my free edge. And this one was fun just because you got to play with the little dot to make the circle of the flower too. And I did these on my cousin's nails too when she was here. I miss her already. <laughs> and then again, I off-centered these ones on purpose just because I really like the contrast between that bright pink and the gray. I love it. And then you are done with the manicure. You just need to peel off that latex. Do you see how well this stuff sticks? I love this stuff. It peels in one easy peel. It's amazing. And then don't forget to top coat your nails with a nice thick glossy top coat to protect the design that you just worked so hard on and to give your nail a gorgeous long lasting shine. And once that is complete, you are done. Look at that shift in that base polish. I love this polish so much. Probably one of my top five polishes of all time. Absolutely stunning. And then these images from Clear Jelly Stamper just sealed the deal for me. Here is a swatch photo of Just Evening Sparkler. I'm serious, you guys, go buy this. It is amazing, and it's even better in real life. But that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, and go ahead and check out these other videos if you haven't already. Bye, guys.